once again welcome to Mima's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful handbag here. It is a nice and easy handbag that is done using single crochet. Okay so for this bag you're going to need um, stitch markers. I used seven of them. You're also going to need uh, a tapestry needle for joining the handle. You're also going to need these beads here for decorating the handle. You're also going to need uh, the yarn. Here I used my cream. This is braided my cream and it is about three millimeters thick. You can use any other type of yarn that you have. It just has to be thick, okay? Uh, you're also going to need a scissors and you're also going to need a crochet hook. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to begin with a chain of 19, okay? So we're going to begin with my slip knot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I now have a chain of 19. So I'm going to begin my first round. So here I'm going to skip this first chain from the hook and insert my hook in the second and do one single crochet in each chain. Okay, so I'm going to put a stitch marker in this one to mark the starting point. Okay, and then in the next, I'm going to do one single crochet in the following one single crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with one single crochet and let's meet in this last chain here. Okay, so we're now left with this one chain here. So in this chain, we're going to put five single crochets, okay? The other single crochets are for us so that we can be able to turn and start crocheting this side, okay? So we're going to put five, sorry. So that's one. Again, in the same stitch. Two. So in the second one here, I'm going to put a stitch marker. And then again, three, four. So I'm going to put stitch markers again in this two. This is the, set, the third, and this is the fourth. Okay, so the fifth one to make them five. Okay, so I now have, I've put five stitches in this last chain, okay? So I'm going to continue crocheting in the back bumps of the chains, in the back of the chain, sorry. So I'm going to be setting my hook here, okay? Through those holes, okay? So that's one single crochet in each back of the chain. Okay, like this. So let's continue with one single crochet at the back of the chains and let's meet when we're left with one. Okay, so here I'm left with this one chain here, okay. So in this one, we're also assuming this stitch here, the first stitch is coming from this chain. So we already have one. So I'm going to put four single crochets, okay. So that's one. Two. Three, and then the last one. Four. Okay, so we're going to put stitch markers again in the last three that we put. Okay. So this one. This one, and this one. So these stitches that I've put stitch markers are the ones that we're going to increase. Um, in the next round okay so now we're beginning the second round so I'm going to be we're going to still continue with um, single crochet so this is the first stitch here so I'm going to continue with single crochet in this first stitch 
okay and i'm going to put back the stitch marker here this one is different from the others because it's also marking the the, the starting point okay so i'm going to continue with single crochet one single crochet in each stitch up until i'm at the next stitch marker so that we can increase our stitches okay so let's continue with one single crochet in each stitch like this okay let's meet in this first stitch with the stitch marker okay so i'm now at this stitch marker here so what we're going to be doing i'm going to remove the stitch marker and then in that stitch i'm going to put two single crochets okay that's one and i'm going to put the stitch marker back in the first stitch that i put okay and then i'm going to put the second single crochet in that stitch okay so we've increased our stitches here with one so i'm going to do the same here okay and let's put in the first stitch of the increase okay and then here i'm going to repeat the same and then we're going to continue with one single crochet in here and let's meet back here okay so we are now here in the other stitch markers we did this one so we're just going to repeat what we did with those stitches with the other stitch markers so here i'm going to put two single crochets okay one another one in the same stitch two and i put back the stitch marker in the first stitch that i put there and then again in the next one this one i'm going to put two single crochets okay don't forget to put back the stitch marker in the first stitch that you put okay two and this is the last stitch here i'm going to put two again that's one and then again two so our second our second round is complete you can see that um the length of our best is increasing so this is the starting point if possible make sure that you put a stitch marker with a different color from these ones okay now we're going to repeat what we did with this round for round three okay so we're going to do round three and then come back okay so i've just completed the third round okay so now we're going to repeat again what we did with the third round and do the fourth round to complete our best okay so if you want your best to be even bigger you just continue repeating the rounds until you have the length that you want so let's repeat again and then come back okay so this is the best of our bag so if you are to measure the length it's about 29 centimeters okay so we're going to remove these stitch markers and then start crocheting the sides okay so i've removed removed the other six stitch markers and left with this one we're going to remain with this one up until we finish our bag so now we're going to introduce another pattern um but we're just going to be crocheting two single two single crochets together for the sides we're going to crochet two single crochets together and then a chain one okay so here's how we're going to be doing it so here's how we're going to do the sides okay so this is my first stitch i'm going to remove the stitch marker i'm going to insert um my stitch my hook in the back loop and then pull up a loop in the next stitch i pull up a loop so that i have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops okay so this is now my new stitch i'm going to put back the stitch mark here and then i'm going to chain one okay now in the next stitch again set my hook pull up a loop in the next set my hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three chain one okay again in the next in the following yarn over chain one okay so let's continue doing this right round okay up until we're back at the starting point okay Okay, so I've just completed the first round of the sides. Okay, 
Um, now we move on to the second round. Okay, so here I was just left with two stitches here. So you always make sure that whenever you finish your your round, you finish with a chain one. Okay, so here. Another loop, three loops, yarn over, pull through and then chain one. So my first my first round of the sides is done. Now moving on to the second round. We are now inserting our hook below both loops, okay? Here. And then pull out the loop. In the next, this one, okay? Pull out the loop so that you have three loops. And then pull through all. Put back the stitch marker. Chain one, okay? Again, in the next stitch, pull out the loop, in the following, pull out the loop, yarn over, pull through all three, chain one, okay, in the next, let's do it like this, chain one, okay. So I'm going to repeat this up until our round is done and then come back. Okay, so it's just insert your hook, pull up a loop, the next stitch, pull up a loop again, hand over, pull through all three, and then chain one. Okay, so let's repeat that and then come back after finishing this round. Welcome back. So I've just completed the second round. Okay, so this is how the pattern is coming out like. And we're going to repeat until we have round. 60 rounds and then come back. Come back. So I've just finished the 16 rounds. And now the length of our bag is about 11 inches. And then the height is now 8 inches. Okay. So we just want to do one more round. But this time it's going to be slip stitch. And then we'll do the handle. Okay. So here. I'm just going to finish here. And then we just do one round of slip stitch, okay, like that, chain one, so this is my first stitch, I'm going to remove it, so I'm going to do slip stitch in the back loop, okay, so I'm going to insert my hook, and then pull through, okay, so this is now my first stitch, and it's a slip stitch, okay. I'm going to continue with slip stitch in every stitch right round up until we're back at the starting point okay like this so let's do that right round and let's meet back here okay so i've done the slip stitch and you are now back at the starting point so i'm just going to do one more slip stitch to finish up so i'm just going to do that to join the last stitch to the first stitch okay like that and then I'm going to cut here. Okay. So I'm just going to fasten this off and then come back. Okay, so this is our bag so far. So now we want to put the handle. Okay. So here I'm going to do a chain of 75. If you want the handle to be longer, you can just increase the chain. Okay. So I'm going to do a chain of 75 for our handle. One, two, three. Okay, so I now have a chain of 75. So what we're going to do is we're going to do slip stitch, but we're going to be inserting our hook in the back bump here. Okay, so I'm going to skip this first bump here and then insert through here and then do slip stitch. Okay, like that. Okay, in the next one, like that, in the next bump, like that. Okay. So I'm just going to continue with the slip stitch up until we're back here. Okay, so now we've done slip stitch on our handle. So I'm just going to finish up. Like that, and I'm going to cut it. Okay, so we'll fasten this off later on. Okay. So now we want to attach the handle to the bag and also put the beads, okay? 
so now we want to attach our handles so what you can do is you can just come at this um the edge of the bag and then attach the other side and then the other one here or you can just count the number of your stitches and then divide by two put another stitch marker here and then another one here so what i'm going to do is we're going to use a tapestry needle to join the hand okay so here i'm going to attach this side first okay Okay, so we've attached our handle to the bag. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, and then we'll fasten this off later on. So before we attach this other side, we're going to insert the piece that we have. Okay. Okay, so I've inserted these bits, eight of them. Okay, so now we're going to join this side just like we did the side here and then come back using our needle. Welcome back. So I've finished attaching the handle and I've also fastened off the ends. And this is our bag. It's done. It's a nice and neat handbag. It is also very simple to crochet. Um, thank you for watching Mimas Crafts. Please do subscribe, like and comment for more videos. Thank you.